Hello everyone and welcome back to the Atari Vault. Today we're going to be playing Submarine Commander. I've got to tell you, I am horrible at submarine games. This should be coming at no surprise because I'm horrible at most games. But submarine games, I don't know what it is. Um, I've tried... Um, so the last submarine game I played, granted, was 15 years ago? Um... It was called something like Silent Running or something like that. Anyway, most of the most of the game was looking through a periscope, just like it shows in the picture here, and trying to find targets and then aiming down the targets. For some reason, one, I could never hit an enemy ship. Two, I would be blown out of the water by depth charges or whatever else that managed to be that would be hunting me down. And three, I just found it dull. Um, so, I mean, I'm, we might get half an hour of enjoyment out of this. Might, might be significantly less. We'll see. We'll find out. Let's look at the manual here. Um, I mean, this is great art. I got to give them props for that. Um, just imagine you're a captain of a ship. Okay. And then in the next paragraph, says that you're the commander. Excuse me. Try to keep your naval terms straight, will you? Good luck, Commander. The object of the game is to sink as many enemy ships as possible. As you sink ships, you score points. Some of the ships can drop depth charges, which might damage your submarine. Okay. Depth charges are indicated on the depth charge detector gauge. I was going to call the gauge. That's not true. It's gauge. The gauge alerts you to the closeness and seriousness of the depth charge. Seriousness? All Aren't all depth charges serious? I guess it depends on how far away they are. But it seems like distance would matter more than seriousness. Oh, don't worry. That depth charge, he's just in such a silly mood. He's just gonna throw confetti on you, that's all. Um, okay, because your sub is equipped with sonar detection, you can identify the location of enemy ships before they are sighted. So, sonar is a two-way street for ships, right? I mean, a ship knows it's gonna when it's hit by sonar, because it's fucking sound. So there's got to be, I mean, most submarines nowadays, from what I understand, don't use sonar anymore. Um, they will if they're not trying to be stealthy. But, you know, like if they're on like an expedition or something. But if they are trying to be stealthy, they would prefer to use passive methods of detection. Now, granted, that's more difficult. But if it can be done, it will be done. And that's just a rule of military engagements. Anyway, sub also contains 3,000 units of fuel. Oh, here we go. It's the fuel mechanic again. I'm really not sold on the whole fuel mechanic in these type of games. I understand they're trying to give you some kind of management to it. But I think... I don't know. It's just weird. Okay, fuel level is proportional to the engine temperature. Watch the engine temperature gauge at the top center of the screen, as shown in Figure 1. The more maneuvers you make, the harder the engine gets. Um, so you're a submarine. Shouldn't you water cool the engine? Just saying. Not to mention, water temperature outside is going to be an average of 4 degrees Celsius. That'll cool pretty much any engine, won't it? I mean, I'm not an engineer, so I don't know shit, so I should just shut up. Okay. Every torpedo launches use three units of fuel. Are you making them out of fuel canisters? That sounds like a bad idea long term. But every debt charge hit costs 300 to 377 units of fuel. That's a weird number to pull out of your ass. 377 units of fuel for being hit. Okay. Some fuel is also used just to run the submarine engines, obviously. When all the fuel runs out, the temperature gauge turns black, and the game is over. Alright, I mean, I guess because you, then you have no more temperature so is white good red i mean i'm assuming red would be bad but i don't know and the torpedoes are right right so each gauge they really love the word gauge they're not all gauge okay time and practice to be able to use all the gauges to your best advantage all right fuel gauge at the bottom center really seems weird why would the fuel gauge be at the bottom center but i know that's where it is okay 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 it's just a number all right torpedo status gauge because they have to be reloaded that makes total sense um above the fuel gauge right because the two green buttons okay got you and in temperature 
As the engine gets hot, the gauge turns red. The hotter the engine, the more fuel it consumes. The gauge turns yellow. The engine has been damaged running at half speed. Okay, good to know. Directional gauge. Broken black line indicated below the engine temperature gauge. When you move the sub right or left, the lines move right or left, so you're steering the submarine. Okay. Sonar detector. All right, so that's your uh, depth charge detector. It's an arrow which appears at the lower right corner of the screen. It points at where the depth charge is located. There was white is not dangerously close, and you can move your sub in that in the opposite direction to avoid a hit. There was red. Look out! You're about to be hit unless you quickly move away in the opposite direction. Okay, but at least it gives you an indication using the arrow. Okay, that's good to know. And then controllers, which I'm pretty sure should be okay. All right, tanker, destroyer, PT boat. What they should also do is like yacht, or you know. Merchant Mariner ship, you know, stuff that like civilian ships where you get negative points if you hit them And then be good kind of simulate the war crime aspect of it. I think that could work Anyway, let's go ahead and start playing this and see what happens This is it. This is much more blocky than it was in my head, but I suppose that makes total sense All right, so let's um One player no depth charges that seems like cheating, right? P2 gauges can't be damaged. Are you shitting me? I guess the gauges can't be damaged. Well, if the gauges can't be damaged, that makes sense. If the gauges can be damaged, that would just be weird, right? Okay, so let's do one player destroyer depth charges. Okay, one type of ship gives me depth charges. I like that. Let's do it. Not that I'd be able to identify a destroyer anyway. All right, so here we are. Um, that's a hell of a lot of traffic. Oh, we just got hit by a depth charge. So how do they know we're even here? All right. Okay, so our missiles take a while. Oh, go away, go away, go away. We're good. There we go. Oh, what are you talking about? Okay, there we go. He sunk. How it takes more than one hit to sink one of these guys. Oh, that was bad. Okay, no worries. That just passed right by him. I'm wasting these shots. Oh, total waste of these shots. Look at that. I'm horrible at this. The PT boat just speeds right by, man. There's no chance. There we go. How does... It's for some reason, one shot isn't enough to take out these guys. I suppose that's fair. Oh, man. I almost hit the PT boat, too. Oh, run away from that. Also, I'm not sure if like the little dots along the side or along the bottom are supposed to be another ship. Along the top they are. Okay, yeah, we actually totally hit a ship there. Oh, I can go up and down. I can go, I can move my periscope up and down. Should have realized that makes total sense, actually. Oh, but I can't. Come on, keep him in vain. Keep him in range. Keep him in range. He is going too fast for me to be able to keep him in range for long. Yeah, there's only so much I can do there. Okay. Oh, but I can't. Nope, that didn't work. That didn't work. They're launching a lot of depth charges here. Um, I cannot keep pace with this guy. Load the other torpedo. Oh, I need to fire this one so I can fire that one. Oh, that's just bad. Yep, he's just going to run away. Okay, well, that's fair. The engine is running horribly hot, though. Fire, fire. Nope, that was awful. If I mention I'm bad at games. Okay, there we go. We're away from the depth charge. No worry. That depth charge detector, most submarine commanders would probably love that. Because usually the indication you have of a depth charge is, oh shit, what's that on our sonar? <laughs> you know? So, I mean, I guess that's kind of what that's supposed to represent. Is that you have just a really good guy on your sonar screen who's saying, you know, I recognize the sound of depth charge, sir. How you would recognize that sound, I have no idea. But apparently it's Maybe possible. Okay, so we now see hitting these guys while you're on the move is just a bad idea. I can hit them, but I can't sink them. So I can wound them, but those destroyers just go on forever. Okay, yeah, there we go. PT boats we can take out in one shot. Good to know. Destroyers, though. Okay, yeah, and most of those merchant ships, easy to take out. I'm telling them merchant ships, it's not actually what they are. Okay, the PT boats are easy, but the destroyers take two hits. It's good to know. I mean, that means some planning is required. Nope, that's not going to work. 
Yep, we can only move so fast. All right, we're almost out of fuel. We're going to have 115 score here. That's pretty bad. Fire, fire. Oh, bad shots all around. If I could only hit a little bit better. I mean, now you kind of understand what the submarine commander's life is like. He's just looking through the periscope all day. Definitely give you an interesting view of life. There we go. Sunk another destroyer. 165 is a little better. Not by a lot, by a little bit. Oh, no, both those miss. Yep. Okay. Well. Fire, fire. Nope. The thing is, I wish the submarine turned just a little bit faster than these ships. Otherwise, I'm just, you know, spinning my wheels here. For no real good reason. I suppose, you know, spinning your wheels for a good reason, I suppose. Is there ever a good reason to, like, spin your wheels? I suppose not. The ships move too damn fast, is my main complaint. Yeah, there's no way for me to catch up on this, some of these ships. Even if you wound them. I would understand not being able to go the same speed as an undamaged ship. Absolutely. Makes total sense. But not being able to go the same speed as a... As a I was going to say a real ship. But a, a damaged ship makes no sense to me. And there's so much stuff that this is apparently a heavy traffic lane, shipping lane here. Make sure all these are... Um, I mean, imagine if you were one of these ships, okay? And an enemy vessel has apparently hit, it, hit you with a torpedo. What do you do at that stage? You say, oh, well, I guess we were hit? And just move on? Because apparently that's what they're doing. They're not staying in the area. But I guess if your mission's important enough, why would you stay in the area, right? We have some place to be. We're going to deal with, you know, submarines all our way there. Well, that's just how it's going to be. You know, dump some death charges over the side and go home. Or go to the mission, whatever it is. But I mean, at this point, why have been... Why give me the ability to turn my submarine when it doesn't actually matter? I mean, theoretically, if there wasn't everyone basically available in my line of sight at all times... Okay. You know, if I actually had to go and look for targets, this might be somewhat useful. Oh, that was a bad shot. So was that. One bad shot after another. Um, I don't even know what I was going to say. But yeah, turning turning the submarine is useless. And for some reason, the periscope only looks where the where it's shooting. But I guess... Oh, I guess we shot our PT boat there. So I guess what we should do is not aim for the destroyers and just aim for the easy marks. Oh, there was a destroyer right there. That was hilarious. Like that right there. Okay, so yeah, don't aim for the destroyers. Go for the PT boats, which are a little faster. Oh, man, almost. Yep, out. That's fair. That's totally fair. Let's try that again. Maybe... I mean, that was a weird game select. What does that do? Turn to yellow for some reason. That's two-player. Destroyer and PT boat. I mean, it doesn't really matter, right? Does it? There's an argument to be made there. Okay, everybody has depth charges, basically. Sure, what the hell. Might be a little more dangerous. I mean, at this point, why even bother turning the ship? Just... Oh, we just got hit there. That was bad. So, okay, that's a reason to give me a move, um, ability to move, right? Is that we might actually get hit by depth charges. Okay, but otherwise, being able to chase down the ships, not possible. Don't even think about it. Not even in the realm of possibility. There we go. Actually took down a destroyer there. I'm assuming these are destroyers. There we go. One more down. Could we dare hope for a higher score? Probably not. <laughs> We're not credited for giving them partial damage, and I'm kind of kind of think that's bullshit. What the hell was with that PT boat? That PT boat moved so fast. Are we supposed to be able to intercept that? That seems like bullshit to me. Uh, didn't even hit that guy. I think when they're in that upper lane, there's no way we should just give up on that. And we've hit them occasionally. Oh, I, that guy intercepted my shot. Wasn't even looking at you, was trying to hit the other guy. Oh, that didn't work either. It's interesting the perspective they're trying to force here. I mean, I understand it. 
But it's weird that the game, the ships look all shortened. Oh, let's just battle around. Also, why don't you load both torpedoes at the same time? Always launch from the right, if that needs to be a thing. I mean, I realize you can't give me the button to determine which one I'm going to fire, because all the buttons are taken. That seems fair. But at least, you know, always load both torpedoes. We're going to run out of fuel, and I'm barely even firing on any of these guys. There we go. Dropped one guy. Oh, but I'm not going to be able to get him. Okay, that's fair. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, these PT boats, man. Oh, I got one. I got one on purpose. It's bound to happen eventually. Oh, no, he was too fast. Also was the wrong one, I think. Oh, what the hell, man? These guys are going too fast. Got to make the morning last, you know? I actually used to love that song when I was in my... Um, teen years, I guess. I was going to say when I was... Um, when I was younger, and then I said when in my, and then I just had to keep going with that, because, you know, you're not supposed to just leave a sentence just hanging like that. Oh, that PT boat just way too quick. Alright, well, then this guy. There you go. He sunk. That was the guy I was talking about. I wasn't talking about the guy you were actually seeing. Oh, man. Just block my shots, why don't you? Why don't you? That was a PT boat that no one in the right mind would try to hit. Oh, except no one should try to hit that one either. All around bad news. Bad news bears. Bad news bears. I mean, is this what submarine commanders used to do? Is, like, sit on a shipping lane and just shoot every boat that comes by? Seems like kind of a dick move. But I guess if they're enemy ships and you know where their ship route is, why wouldn't you do that? You know, the whole idea of sinking these ships is to disrupt enemy supply lines. So, yeah. Absolutely, you're going to sit there and, you know, take fire at every ship that goes. You know, destroy those supply lines, man. They're your enemy. They've got to go down. But it also means, like, increased hazards for you, right? Because you're the one, as a submarine commander, who's actually going to have to, you know, navigate around these obstacles of all these sunken ships. You're going to have to do something about that. Okay, I totally did that in the wrong order. So apparently, if the ship's going right to left... You should shoot left to right. If possible. Like, these guys, we need to pass them by. Because they're going in the wrong speed. Oh, except that guy totally wouldn't be good. I mean, maybe I'm overthinking it. Yeah, but see, then that one hits and I can't do anything because it slowed down at the wrong time. Oh, that was just a bad shot all around. Okay, so anyone going from the left to the right... Nope, nope, nope. That was the wrong thing. Okay, no. Is anyone going from the left to the right now? That was the wrong thing. Right to the left, though? Right to the left? No. No, left to right now. Not you. Oh, no, it missed. It missed. But I think we always aim... Yeah, there you go. Always try to do two shots at once. Oh, that just... Oh, man, if I had known you were down there, I would have fired the second shot and gotten more points. That PT boat, man. There's no way. There's no way. Other way around, man. Other way around. Where's the other shot? There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, that was bad. That's okay. Anyone coming from left? Anyone coming? Oh, okay. You're going too fast. Anyone else? I mean, that was from right, so it already broke my rule. But yeah, I think that rule is correct. I think that's what I want to do. Oh, except that was a huge miss. I didn't fire soon enough. All right, well. Oh, man, he just speeds along, man. Those are freaking yachts of the ocean right there. Yeah, see, otherwise just miss entirely. Okay, so anyone coming from the right? Anyone coming from the... That was too fast. Anyone coming from the left, then? Uh, that PT boat, just give up on it, man. Not gonna happen. Lots of PT boats everywhere. What the hell is a PT boat? It's like patroller something boat. That would make sense. That guy was moving at speed, man. There we go. He's down. Again, anyone moving from the left? Anyone moving from the left? I realize the petite boat and the other blue one that I've totally forgotten. I think it's tanker. That was probably a mistake, but whatever. Now we can do stuff from the right side. And, of course, immediately they start coming from the left as if they know 
as if they know, as if the computer was cheating. But you notice how there's been no um, depth charges? Isn't that weird? It's a little weird, right? Seems a little weird. I'm realizing I'm letting all these prime opportunities pass me by. Okay, there we go. Sunk one, but not the one I was going for. Nope, PT Bush is damn, too damn fast. Okay, from the left, from the left, I was going to say right there for a minute, but I realized I was wrong at the last second. It's always useful. There we go. Our score is at least getting better. But again, I mean, this is a little dull, right? There's no... There's no, I don't know, drama or anything. It's just, you know, we're sitting here watching the ships go by. Going, hey, look, I'd like one for my very own. Let's sink it. That's basically all we're doing. That's not exactly how that works, but, you know, basically that's how it works. Yep, PT boat, just go right by. Sure, why not? And sure enough, I screwed up my launch order there. I hit the guy that was going in the wrong direction. That's not the guy I wanted to hit, but nevertheless, the type of ship I wanted to hit. So good enough. Okay, fine. Just messed me up there. All right, coming from the right. Coming from the right. No, no, no. You guys are coming from the left. Not what I wanted. Coming from the right. Okay, that was a little too fast, PT boat. If you want to slow it down just a notch. Just a notch. No, no. Come from the right is what I want. Come from the right. Oh, come on. How was that not a hit? I suppose if I had launched my other one, that might have been a hit. Okay, there we go. I least stuck here. One tanker I didn't even know was there. There we go. PT boat down. Nope. Worth a shot, though. Nah, that wasn't even worth a shot. Okay. And we'll come with the right. There we go. Knees out. Same thing. Anyone come from the right? Like that. Exactly. Thank you very much for volunteering yourself. Okay. So that was Submarine Commander. Um, really, what it is, is it's, um, it's shooting ducks. It is totally shooting ducks. They have everything lined up in the range. It's like going to the range and shooting ducks. So, you know, if you want your ducks shaped like boats, that is totally the game for you. But anyway, that's Submarine Commander in the Atari Vault. I'm PC Universe, you're PC Universe 2, and I'll see you guys next time.